happening today. Republicans and Democrats both held events in Springfield this afternoon. Well, welcome to Color 10 News at 9. I'm Crystal Blair. In political coverage, our Madison Heaver went to see what the parties were hoping to accomplish. Crystal, both Democrats and Republicans met in Greene County today to educate and discuss the future of their respective parties. It's great to be here today. Big name politicians like Governor Mike Parson, Senators Roy Blunt, Josh Hawley, and Congressman Billy Long spoke to promote the Republican Party into 2020. We're promoting the Republican Party in an off year election, and it's great to see all the grassroots people here that keep the state house in Republican hands. And most of the congressmen in Missouri are Republican. And so we just work real hard every year. Governor Parson, who declared a state of emergency in Northwest Missouri this week, also said he and other governors around the Midwest are working to help out the flood victims. When you start having to evacuate towns and villages and get concerned about utilities and the water, uh, it was time to do an emergency uh, declaration. Meanwhile, just down the street, Democrats held information sessions with Missouri House Minority Leader Crystal Quaid and 2020 Missouri Attorney General candidate Elad Gross to talk about issues the Democratic Party faces in the state. To win back in Missouri, it's going to take a long time, and we've got to have an election where we move it five points, five points again, five points again. There's a reason why our policies aren't really geared towards folks who need help. Uh, we've got poor kids going to poor schools, we've got hospital closures all over the state, our roads are terrible, and that's because our government is working for those with a lot of money and power and not for the rest of us. But Congressman Long says he's confident the party will succeed over Democrats in 2020. I think the president will get reelected, and I think we'll take back the House. Congressman Long also believes the number of Democratic presidential candidates will hinder the success of the party for the bid. It's too early to predict who will win the nomination for the presidency. Crystal?